And welcome back. This is Kotal for the second event for this Historical Rules event. Um, the second match, I should say. And it is on Server 2. Uh, it is a Schoolhouse Ridge. Uh, 169 on the total server pop. 86 on the attacking CSA. 83 on the defending Union. Let's take a look at that CSA team. They have Captain Roldo leading them, who uh, was also organizing the event uh, today, so very much thankful to him for that. Then we've got Major Canada leading the 20th Georgia. Then we've got Colonel Killer leading the A&V, or part of it, and the other part is led by Mr. Gamebot. And then he likes turtles, and we have Captain Homa leading the Hoods Division. So the hand V is well represented. Now let's take a look at the Artie. A lot of Artie on this one. Looks like we've got uh, Lieutenant Bush here with one crew. And then we've got JB under Corporal Thomas here with another gun. Um, actually, Schumacher. Is it Schumacher or is it Thomas? I think Thomas took the officer slot, but Schumacher is yeah, in overall command. But uh, JB actually has two Gannon crews, so they went entirely for Artie from the JB. Now on the Union side, we have the... 6LA here, led by Lieutenant Ard Oddball. We also have Captain Gene, led by HL. We have the other element of 2 Corps, led by Major Sergeant Major Barron. We've got AB, led by Brigadier General Archer. We've got 9th Corps. I'm not sure who's leading 9th Corps right now. So, and then we have 2 USC, the Home Guard, led by Captain Eddie. Looks like there's a little bit of Union already as well. Let's see, we've got two core. Uh, looks like possibly on two guns here from that two core element. And we have another gun here under SR here. So, Shenandoah regulars. So we are live at 40 in this uh, event. However, there is no bayonets and no um, sprinting until the 30 minute mark. So we will see how that... Uh, Develops. Now, to give you a quick um, overview of the map, CSA spawn is over here. There's CSA Artie. This is the point of contention. There's another CSA Artie battery over there, but a lot of people don't take it. Uh, the Union Artie is all the way around here. So you can see it actually you know, kind of extends all the way over here. This was the camp we just fought on in the last battle. So, um, you know, the last battle was here. Now this battle's over here. Um, and that is... Oh, Union spawn is, like, right over here. So, um... Long way down that very open hill for the Union, so they get pushed back to their spawn, and it is very hard to recover. But we are live. We'll see how the Union sets up their defense while the CSA sets up their attack. Now, the game is called War of Rights. It's available on Steam for 20 US dollars, currently on sale. Usually it's priced at 30. This event is the historical rules event. It is held every Sunday at 7 p.m. GMT. This is server two of it, so there are two servers, and they are open. Uh, for additional units if you want to sign your unit up. Now, I've left links to many of these units. I don't think I have JB's Discord. At some point, JB, if one of you guys, uh, if you ever watched this, <laughs> send me your permanent Discord link, and I will include you guys. But I think I have everybody else. Um, um, so if you see a unit that you're interested in joining, check the times they play, you know, watch them, and then, uh, yeah, just go to the Discords. That's how they uh, recruit new people. So uh, you two can participate. Looks like the CSA is matching in two different equal angles, one hitting on this far side, another on this far side. The Union is waiting their defense over here. There's only a very small unit over here. They were about to get into the fight. But if you like the video and would like to support the channel, always uh, appreciate any subscribes, likes, comments, shares, all that fun stuff. Let me know what I can do to do better. And, uh, you know, seed from there. Is it just me or is the Chevrons and officers a wee bit delayed? Yeah, it's just A B over here and they're facing two units, but it looks like we're gonna have a major fight going on over here. Um I'd be surprised if the Union can't hold this with the weight of units they have over here. The CSA is actually with killers maneuvering a lot of forces this way. Now again, there's no bayonets, no sprinting. So that makes this attack extremely difficult for Mr. Killer to make. But he is going to try it. He's 
Fissez les drapeaux Fissez les drapeaux a club you, come here. Hey, you can't hit for shit. Hey, what's up? Light him up, light him up, light him up. Light him up. Light him up. Yeah, Sorry, it's gotta be like this, guys. I will die, I will death. I must die. Come here, boy. A club you. So this charge failed, but let's see what happened over here. Actually, a unit came down to reinf- Oh no, AB, it's still AB here, is now dealing with GameBot here. Oh, GameBot completely came- Oh man, I got here just in time of that. So while AB was dealing with this unit down here, which was the HD, GameBot came behind and just executed from behind the head and, and knocked them all out almost simultaneously. Except for this poor man right here. Hey, dude. How's it going, How's it going? Hey, I'm all right, man. Take care, man. That was a hell of an attack by Mr. GameBot from the 6AL part of the ANV. Well done by them. Um, so 6AL is part of the, uh, the oh, God, Army of Northern Virginia. Um, they have other elements such as um, Killer. Uh, I don't know if 6AL has an RD position, but the a &B generally does. And as you can see, 6AL, uh, not only do they work well with other units, HD is a unit they, they work with a, quite a bit, so they're very familiar with them, but they are very nasty as far as getting really nice shots and sneaking in like that. Uh, I think they're primarily an English language uh, unit. So, um, yeah, 6AL, uh, if you like that style of gameplay you just saw from GameBot, uh, you might want to check them out. HL up and over. Because they're on the ball today, man. They're Alrighty, where do we go? Do they're pass, gonna man. be after the camping. And here comes the two USC right, under Captain Eddie from the home guard. On our right, get on the fence, independent fire. Now they are a cav unit. They are experts at skirmishing. Get ready, HL. And they are probably the, uh, no offense to anybody else, but they are probably the most interesting unit to watch. They have very interesting banter, so. Make sure it's defending. If you enjoy kind of, you know, a uh, a lot of I'm not gonna say shit talking, but a lot of you know back talk, a lot of you know fun, you know banter back and forth, and some very good ta cav tactics, some very good skirmishing, some very good um, skirmish lines, screening raids. Um, I highly recommend you check out Eddie. They play in a lot of events. I didn't talk about it. it six ALS events. I think I see them mostly on. EU times, I don't know if 6AL has NA times. I'd have to look. I know A&V generally does, so that option is there. And speaking of the A&V, here comes Killer, and he is about to hit you really hard here. A nice little maneuver here by Killer. So a very aggressive play by the CSA, despite the restrictions on sprinting and... Uh, and um, bayonets, but that has not stopped Killer. But uh, the the two USC is a EU unit, so they mostly play in the EU events. Um, they do uh, this event, and they also do Saturday UEC. Um, I believe those are the two main events they do. A and V does a lot more events, and they also have an NA component. Yeah, I'm not sure specifically about the six AL they do. Uh, let me know in the comments if any of the six AL guys are watching. Um, if they do. Uh, so I can correct myself. But here comes Captain Homer. He smells blood. Because the hand V knows. They're going to try to sh get some parting shots in at Eddie as he gets out of there. Uh, so, so far, though, um, CSA has managed to get a bit of a ticket lead um, over the Union. Uh, but they haven't seized too much ground. They do have one small um, just to the uh, CSA left of the point here. You can see they, Captain Homa has gotten a bit of a bridgehead, but that's about the only major position right now that the CSA possesses. Angle is very happy. The angle is actually an already been. A very good one, actually. It's hard to play this game with one hand. Right in front of you. Keep firing, boys. Keep firing. Oh, they're aiming at me. They hate me. You so shot. Oh, 
got a line south southwest. Now, this is a good job here, the, having the flag back. As long as he's still in formation, um, you know, he's got an easy access out of He's got gets charged out, and then um, still, uh, when he's spawning people in, they're not going to spawn in over the fence. Let's check back on this side of the field, though. I haven't watched too much over here. Hey, HL, HL. Right face on me. Northeast HL. I'm a star. Copy, Dave. Looks like uh, Gene is going to start maneuvering his men. Yes, we can. We just choose to ignore you. I appreciate it. Uh, As the CSA is going to maneuver more to the center, we'll zoom out here so we get a little picture. So right now, the Union still holds this position here. And it's kind of rotated out up here in kind of a bit of a hook, as you can see. But the CSA is now massing towards point. And we are one minute away from sprinting and bayonet, so we'll see how that changes up the battlefield here. The CSA has done another good job of getting a decent amount of tickets down, even with this, uh, with some aggressive gameplay. And they're not quite, they haven't gotten the Union quite down to engage, but not too far off. And they have a pretty decent lead on tickets. Looks like we got a forward movement here by HL, Anton's Legion. Independent fire on the smoke, right oblique. Five seconds until bail. We do have a wide flanking window. I bet this is game bot again. Yep. And as you can see, that's how he likes to play. Again, if you're looking for units, you just look at the style of how they play, you know, and, you know, kind of pick, oh, that's, that looks like fun. But, you know, look at their times as well. Here comes Rolo from the 13th Georgia moving up as well. Hold, fix bayonet. <laughs> Hold here, fix bayonet, spread it out for cover. Hold bayonet, fix bayonet. All right, 13th, you got a gear, gear in defense to your left. Get your full kit, bayonets, reloads, everything. On Rolo. Right, break your loads, on Rolo. Break your loads, get on Rolo, let's go. Looks like we might have an attack developing here. Who is this? It is yeah, HL. Yeah, So HL's not doing a bad job of fixing them right now. Uh, okay, so they've actually ordered the charge, at least to the next one. I don't know about this. They're going to get swallowed up here as they come over this fence by the A and V. They didn't have quite enough manpower for that. See, on this side, though, we have 13th Georgia and the 6AL have collapsed together here against the TUSC and a wide but well-timed pincer mover. Oh, but here we got another maneuver here. Who's this coming up? Here comes 14th LA. Is it just 14th? Yep, it's been... So we do have a charge here, but um, it has run out of pretty much any kind of uh, steam here. That flag needs to get out of here now. A nice defense here by Mr. Rollo. Has held on to his position. Took some losses, but he held it. And he's got his flag up, so they'll still maintain in. Union now at engaged at the 40, 23 minute mark. 23, 27 minute mark. Fire! Reload. 
southwest. Fire drill over there, boys. They walked to us, and then in one second, there was like this NCO. Yeah, that, that they like, realized. Hey, those ain't friendly. Those ain't friendly. <laughs> yeah, fire drill stop friendly. The CSA has really infiltrated into this backfield here. This is pretty... This is not good for the Union. They're in a lot of trouble right now, to be honest with you. I got Get it! Up, boys. Out of line twats on the left! HD, everybody hey, move HD! Hey, H -H 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 -H. Uh, up on top of the berm! There's a line on top of the berm! Independent fire up the hill! East. Fuck Lee. I wouldn't recommend silhouetting, silhouetting yourself like that. I either get below it or of it. You're, you're just making yourself a very, very visible target like that. Um, so who was this? Don't tell me this is you, Eddie. I'll be very disappointed. What the fuck are they doing? Eddie! Here? Eddie, you know better. Oh, reload. Just come down and reload. Um, no, 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 we just... No, you're even... No, you don't suck. You know, you're, just, you're not making a smart decision right now here. You can just come down. Just just come right down here. Right down here. It'll be alright. Okay. You, you don't have to. Now, looks like we got another fight developing over here. It's a very spread out battlefield. So we got HL versus 13 Georgia here. We'll see how this fight goes. What you gonna do? I'm gonna be faster! I'm gonna be faster! Shoot him, shoot him, boys! Shoot him! What are you doing? Be no faster! Be no faster! Come on, be no faster! What are you doing? Come back, Easton! Be no faster! So right now what they should be doing is targeting that flag. Head off that respawn rate. There we go, whoever shot the flag, good job. Very good job, whoever shot the flag down. Break load, break load, everybody! Charge him out, charge and him HL has won that shootout, and after they got the advantage, Gene does the right thing to charge in and finish the job. So good work there, good discipline there by Hampton's Legion under Mr. Gene. Now let's see what else we got here. So the Union's on point here with two core, but they got a bit of a problem here coming down the hill. I believe this is A and V. No, this is H. Well, it's Hand V. They got multiple streams coming in on them. Here comes 20th Georgia. Enemies on our left, boys. Left. HDU to the feds. Hello there. Okay, they moved away. Right, right, keep going, keep going, keep going, boys. Keep going, keep going. We got reps. We got reps. 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 reps on the left hand side. Left, reps on the left hand side. Good combined attack here by the CSA. Trying to get a good angle on it. Let's go southeast, southeast. Let's go southeast. I'm not sure if the CSA wants to cap here. So good attack by them. Looks like we got a forward attack here by Jean. He is going to try to catch Killer in the side here. It looks like he came in at a pretty good angle. And Killer orders a counter charge. I think he knows he didn't have a great angle to receive that, so he just decided to get into the mailer right there. I think that's the right decision. Uh, but he might be overwhelmed as AB comes, multiple units come in as well. Good job by Morris trying to get the flag out, though. It's good instincts. Uh, he got hit. We'll see if Nash can pick it up and get it out of there. Nope, it's a good attack by the Union on that. Um, 
We'll see. The CSA has kind of lost the field now a bit, but they do have a pretty significant ticket advantage, and they're doing very well on time. I, I think I'm not. I'm kind of surprised they're going to cap here. These units are hanging out. Who's this? HD. Yeah, you guys know you screwed up. Yeah, angle saying fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. He knew he knew he wasn't supposed to cap there. So this might be a big opportunity for the Union to get back into this game. But the Union's going to have to launch an attack now before the CSA gets their reinforcements down here. So the longer they take to get this attack going, the worse it's going to be. Uh, it's not really the best oh, thing to have right now. Right, boys, in the pen fire race right there. There's a whole line. Yeah, sitting and volleying at that distance is not going to do it. That's not going to cut it, guys. You're going to have to charge this out. You have the numbers for it. But as you can see, you won't for very long. You know, you got units maneuvering over here, maneuvering. You need to retake this point and get those tickets back. Like, time meow. Yeah, doing doing distance shooting, I'm afraid, is not going to cut it. Second course partially got some hold, but that's it. Northwest dead. Second left face of me, triple. Come on, boys. We don't have numbers to this well, we gotta hold something. Oh, I'm having a bad day, mate. How about you? Hey, how's the weather over there, you? Uh, a bit cloudy. Bit red. Let's go away, I don't want to be in no more. Ah. We're retreating, boys! Don't, don't run away, Eddie. Nice job, Oh, fuck. That yeah, Union not. took way too long, in my opinion, to get that counterattack moving. They had a decent mass here, but they, they just didn't really press it. And now the CSA has plenty of time to get reinforcements down. You know, they've resecured 13 Georgia with that win there on that side has re-secured this, this flank fairly well. They're still fighting for it, but no, it's not really secure for the Union anymore. You've got Oddball over here, but... Uh, I think yes. There's a guy in that bush, uh, you suck. It looks like the union, the CSA has opted for an attack down this way here. Um, they've got Cannon as the first one in the way, but he's going to fall back to friendly units. To I think it's the right call to kind of sync up, especially with this other union force over here, which might be able to put pressure. We'll see if this union attack. Oh, what are you, what are you going into the woods for? Maybe, maybe they're going to do a wide swing here, but you, you need to recap as soon as possible. And at least, you know, to minimize your uh, ticket loss on it. You do that, you might get it to a gauge at 22 minutes. That's not bad, but, you know, you take too long, you're going to lose a lot more tickets you would have otherwise. So again, this this is what I like to see, a, a concentrated volley followed by a charge. You want to maximize, you know, your capability there. Now the only criticism I had was a little bit further off on that charge, but you can see it was still generally successful. Ah, uh, they lost it. They didn't have quite enough. They a little bit too generous, they lost it. All right, now the Union's John here is coming up on this side here behind the CSA. But now, or Gene, I should say. I don't want to keep calling him John. John Luke Picard. Too much Star Trek back in the day. I mean, they are engaged, so, you know. There's a group behind you in the in the. Yeah, the problem now is, you know, even though with this maneuver here, the rest of your forces, you know, you know, several of them have been knocked back. You know, we've got this maneuver here by two USC and friends. I'm going to say two USC and friends. But they, yeah, there's too much fire. Sluggy's going to have to maneuver around. Try to figure something out here. Meanwhile, you know, Gene is down there, but 
CSA is pretty entrenched here. You know, you can zoom out here and take a look. Now they, they got one force facing this way, you know, and the rest is kind of facing the Union spawn. They've got seven minutes left to figure out an attack angle. I domed him! Let's go. And another one. Oh, two for two. Right down. On the fire, guys! I want all of your rifles to singing. Come what you want to sing? Very, very Now, I think the CSA is now kind of opening themselves up a little bit. They're getting a little bit too spread out here. Um, they do have six minutes left. See if they can delay the Union. If that's the intent, maybe. Now, the thing I would recommend against is I really don't agree with this. They are pulling units out HD and 20 to chase HL, who has a very good egress route, off of the main... They've got three units chasing HL. This, I think, is a very bad move. Um... Look at how much you've opened up the point. Now the Union needs to launch an attack. There's only one unit remaining in defense. And they're not even really in a great position. It is the A and V. Although it looks like I think Rolo figured out, hey, that's not a good idea. Let's pull back. Okay, as is... Who is this? As is Homa. So, yeah. So it was a nice idea. Almost an error by the CSA, but they corrected it before it became a problem. Less than five minutes remaining on this counterattack. They're shifting right, boys. They're shifting right. On the front of for us. Second skirmish on right shoulder, independent fire, enemy regiment, north northeast. Skirmish oh, line, right shoulder. The, the friendly artillery shooting at infantry. Fuck me, they Friend got the memo. Jesus. Praise Jesus, hallelujah. My friends have been answered. <laughs> just keep shooting at those fuckers. Just keep uh, shooting at them. Stay standing and shoot. Look left. Three minutes remaining. The Union's got to make a move soon. Now they've set up. Oh, there's a fight going on way over here. And you can see they've set up mostly on that side, but there is one unit over here, but they are mixing it in with another unit. So this is HL mixing it in with the uh, game bot. Easy shot. Those two look to be entangled at the moment. We'll see if the uh, rest of the Union team makes a move down here. They don't have much time left. They really need to make a move here soon. Ow. 
Here it comes. Make sure in melee mode. Your independent, your independent guys are south. Eight. Independent 13. South, south, south west guys are coming take... up this way. They're charging on the right, on the right. On the front, this will be the final charge for the Union. If they can't win this, it'll be over. But good discipline here by the 13th is holding on, securing this flank, although this side is, is hit. But uh, HD is in an excellent position to ambush that unit there. 13th is held. And this should be it. Good maneuvering here by Rolo. The Union on breaking. Now it's just a final mass charge on the other side. This charge, that charge was just the last desperate. Hey, let's just send something. It's already over. But yeah, another decisive win by the CSA. Well played. Um, a lot of individual team movements on this one. Um, but some really interesting maneuvers. And some really good individual fights here. And slow-mo mode, I think, is silly as hell, but whatever. Devs, do whatever the hell you want with the game. I'll cover it. So two wins for the CSA. On this HRE, I was uh, glad to see it well-performed. Glad I was able to catch it this week. Um, but, yep, that's it for me. I'll probably do um, the War of Secession event tonight. At least the board. Um, I should be able to do the event, but um, we'll see. Um, but, anyway, um, appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you get something out of it. I enjoy it. So, you know, if nothing else, there is that. But, yep, y'all have a good one.